In the enveloping darkness of the dense forest, under a canopy where the moonlight struggled to penetrate, a life-or-death drama unfolded in profound silence. Luna, the leopard, lithe and powerful, found herself in the unyielding embrace of Orion, a massive reticulated python. The python's coiling was an ancient and deadly dance, perfected over millions of years. And now Luna was at the center of this fearsome ballet. As Orion's muscular body wrapped around Luna, the first sensation was the overwhelming pressure. His scales, like intricately interlocked armor, pressed against her fur and skin. Each coil was a constricting band of muscle, unyielding and cold, against her heated body. Luna's instinctive reaction was to struggle, to use her powerful limbs to fight back, but with each movement, she felt the python adjust and tighten, an almost intelligent response to her every attempt at escape. The constriction process was methodical and relentless. As Luna exhaled, trying to fill her lungs again, she found the space constrictively smaller. It was as if the air itself was being squeezed out of her, each breath shallower than the last. This was the python's strategy, not to crush bones, but to restrict breath. To compress the life-giving air out of its prey. Luna's breaths became labored, a desperate gasping for air that became increasingly difficult. Each inhale was a struggle against the constricting force of Orion's body. She could feel the strength of the python in every inch of its coiled body, each muscle working in terrifying harmony to keep her from drawing a full breath. The sensation was claustrophobic, an oppressive, tightening force that seemed to come from all sides. Orion's grip was like an unbreakable vice, each coil a ring of inexorable strength. The pressure was not uniform. It shifted and changed, targeting the areas where Luna tried to expand her lungs. She could feel the immense power of the python, a creature designed for this very moment. Its entire existence culminating in the efficiency of this deadly embrace. Luna's heart pounded furiously against her ribcage, a futile protest against the slow compression of her body. With each beat, she could feel her strength waning, the fight draining from her limbs. The once powerful and agile predator was reduced to a captive in the unyielding grasp of nature's silent assassin. Orion, sensing the slow weakening of Luna's struggles, maintained his relentless hold. In his world, patience was as lethal as strength. He felt the subtle changes in her heartbeat, the slow decline of her life force. In these final moments, Luna's world was reduced to darkness and pressure, a sensory deprivation that was both terrifying and numbing. The struggle, which seemed to last an eternity, was in reality only minutes. A brief encounter in the grand tapestry of the natural world. Luna, with her last vestiges of strength and a stroke of luck, managed to break free, escaping into the night. Her breath's ragged echoes of her ordeal. This encounter, though fleeting, was a brutal reminder of the efficiency and power of the python's constriction. A methodical process that is as much about sensitivity and patience as it is about strength. It highlighted the raw, unspoken rules of the wild, where survival often hangs in the delicate balance of power and instinct. 